Okay, you should care that I have submitted the Australian Prime Minister and uh, Gina Reinhart, Clive Palmer, Gautam Adani, GBK Reddy, uh, Greg Hunt, and a bunch of others to the International Criminal Court. And you should care because it's the submission is based on a law which I've worked to bring to life for years now, uh, which is the only law in the world that can be argued to stop environmental destruction against us against our water and our air, you know, and I mean, and more importantly, perhaps the ocean system, because I think we, we often forget that plankton provides 50% of our oxygen. So if we don't all want to be walking around in the future wearing oxygen masks just to survive and stand on the street, best we uh, take an interest in what it's going to take to protect our access to free, untoxic air. And that has to be, in my opinion, this law, because our judicial systems that support our economic systems, as is the case in Australia, are entrenched in this ignorant model of fossil fuels. Now, I know it runs our economies and you can't just switch it off, but forcing immediate transition is almost imperative to ensure the survival of future generations. They could do it. They don't choose to because it's too profitable for them. To, to give up what, you know, a coal mine might earn them 36% profit, any normal person might be earning 6% if they're lucky. So they're not going to give that up unless they are forced, which requires a law. And no law was considered to exist before I began every effort to argue this one, <laughs> much to my amusement. Um, so we are in a situation right now where these... Uh, I want to call them names, but I won't. Um, these individual decision makers who continue to advance gross destruction are criminally liable under the submission that I've made to the International Criminal Court, as they deserve to be, for uh, inflicting conditions of life upon the national people that will bring about their physical destruction in whole or in part. That's a sustained attack against our life systems. That's our access to clean water, clean air, you know, oceans that are healthy and alive, that su supply our food and our oxygen, obviously, very important. And, you know, which in the case of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is already half dead and forecasted, uh, scientifically forecasted, to probably be dead within the next 20 years completely. So, you know, we live in a time where we can do something about this. And, and that's by holding the individual decision makers accountable and not being afraid to do that. Um, because if we all demand that they are stopped and this law can can effectuate that, can bring that to life. I don't even think effectuate is a word. These videos are very, very difficult to do. <laughs> because I, I hate to script. <laughs> I like to just talk and when I do, I waffle and I make up words. It's amazing. Anyway, look, <laughs> the point is, is this is under review by the court, it's submitted. Um, and I think that everyone of my generation should be absolutely uh, supporting me to advance this case and this campaign, even if I make up words. <laughs> so please take a read of my work at sustainablequalitypurpose.com. You can also go to um, Victory Arctic or Victory Amazon.com site and find the Victory Australia, Victory Australasia information. And um, yeah, thank you.